Hello pretty girls and welcome back to my channel. Today I know that I look so different right now. Um, the top tops are out, I got some hoop earrings in and you know I'm wearing a little bit more makeup than usual. That is because this makeup was inspired by JWoww. And JWoww is off of Jersey Shore. I also created a Snooki inspired look and a Sammy Sweetheart. So if you want to go watch those videos, I will link them somewhere in this video. But if you want to look like JWoww, then just keep watching. Also, the links to my Facebook, Twitter, and my second channel are all down in the description bar. So go check that out. I also want to tell you guys that I try to base this look on not only JWoww, but I think she is the perfect example of a Guidette. So if you're looking for a Guidette type look, then just keep watching. Okay, my future Guidettes, let's get started by adding an eyelid primer all over our eyes and then spreading it out using our fingers. Next, take a flat brush and apply a small dab of black eyeshadow on it, and we're just going to tap this onto our lid. Next, take a small fluffy brush and start applying a shimmery dark gray color into our creases. Because I've noticed that JWoww, she has a dark color onto her lids and then she gradually gets lighter as the eye goes up. So we're going to do that and then we're going to take a fluffy brush and dip it into this really shimmery pink metallic color and I'm about to show it to you. This one's from Wet n Wild. This color is so pretty and reminds me just of what JWoww applies on her lid. So we're going to tap that color onto the dark shimmery gray color and then just sweep it up towards your eyebrow. Next, we're gonna do our eyeliner and then go back to doing our highlight to really make our eyes pop. So start by taking a coal pencil in black and start tracing your waterline and do your lower lash line. And don't worry about making this perfect because we're just going to go back and smudge it later. And then you're going to go and trace your upper lash line, but try to make it as close to your lashes as possible. And then we're going to take the color and drag it out past your tear duct area because this is going to elongate your eye. And if you mess up, it's okay. Just go back in with a Q-tip like I'm doing. But this is going to make your eyes really look a little bit bigger if you have small eyes like me. Lash time! So JWoww to me doesn't really wear the big false eyelashes like Snooki, so I went and got some natural lashes from e.l.f. They're only a dollar. And please do not use that stupid water-based crap that they give you. Um, go out and get some eyelash glue. I'm using Duo in the dark tones. So yeah, we're gonna apply the eyelashes. And then go over your eyelashes with liquid liner so they don't look like you're wearing false eyelashes, so it looks a little bit natural. And then we're gonna take an angled brush like this and dip that into some black eyeshadow and lightly tap over your liquid liner so that it stays on as long as possible. And now we're gonna take a domed shaped brush and we're gonna start smudging out our lower lash line to give it a little smoky effect. Curl your lashes and apply some mascara. This is my favorite mascara. It's the L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. Absolutely love it. And now we can go ahead and apply our highlight and focus it on the outer parts of your eye. And then as you gradually go in towards your nose in that direction, make the line thinner. That's just what JWoww does. And I think she does it because she has smaller eyes and small eyebrows. So just do that and then highlight your inner tear duct. And I went on and ahead already filled in my eyebrows because she has very structured eyebrows. And now we're going to move on to contouring. I should really make a video on contouring. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if I should do that. But we're going to contour the hollows of our cheeks, going up our temples and around our face to give us a little um, dimension and a little tan if you are not already tan. 
And then apply some pink blush onto the apples of your cheeks. And like JWoww, we want our best features to pop. So we're gonna add a highlight on the tops of our cheeks, down our nose, and then on your Cupid's bow above your lip. And then I'm taking a Kabuki brush and blending it all together so that everything is blend and there are no harsh lines. And now it's lip time. So I'm going to trace my lips with a lip liner that's just a pink frosty color to make our lips look a little bit bigger. I'm gonna fill in the outer corners of my lips to make them appear larger. And then when you're done doing that, I'm taking a pink lipstick that has a purple undertone in it, and I'm just going to fill in my lips in the center and rub them together. But because I thought my lip liner was a little bit too dark, I'm taking the pointed part of my lipstick and lightly tracing um, where I just made the lip liner. And now ladies, we would not be agreed at if we didn't have our lip gloss on. So I'm taking a pink frosty lip gloss and applying that all over my lips. Now before JWoww starts kicking Roger's butt at the club, we need to make sure her makeup stays on. So don't forget to set it with some setting spray. And you can add some big hoop earrings because that's just what us sweet ads do. All the products I use are down in the description bar. Don't forget to check out my other Jersey Shore looks. And thank you so much for watching.